Hey there everybody, Teacher Booth here for GSHelper.com and my daughter came to me today, um, she's a huge Tumblr fan and she wanted to make a banner for her Tumblr profile and she asked me how to do the letters for the Moves Like Mick Jagger logo um, and as you can see here there's about six different colors, you got the pink, the red, black, green, blue, dark purple and um, I explained to her that that's actually only three colors and um, I showed her how in Photoshop that um, when they're um, overlapped and then uh, multiplied um, they create this cool effect and that got me to thinking about uh, Game Salad and how you can actually do this in Game Salad and I figured most people um, haven't explored that area of Game Salad yet so I thought it'd be cool to do a quick demonstration and then to maybe challenge you guys to come up with some kind of cool effect that you can do with this technique um, or gameplay or, or game idea or element or something um, using this kind of effect and I'm going to show you really quickly here um, so I'm going to hit preview in my game and I have the three colors and when I overlap them you'll see nothing happens just as you'd expect I'm going to go in and I'm going to remove these actors for some reason it wants me to remove them when I change this so I'm going to do that um, and I'm going to go into the actor and under blending mode I'm going to choose multiply I'm going to go into the next one do the same thing and then the last one same thing and I'll go ahead and put them onto the scene so now when I hit preview you'll see as I drag these over top they actually take on um, different color elements um, and then when I drag it on you know over top more you get the different idea of the different colors so we got one two three four five six seven colors all from three colors and uh, I'm going to show you a little demo here I did with um, particles let me hit back uh, preview and go into here and um, so with particles the same thing as they overlap they make different colors uh, you got the reds in there you got the greens the dark blues the purples really cool and um, I'll show you one last effect I did uh, which is really cool um, I have a pink background and a blue actor and I can move this actor around now watch when I drag this actor over here I can actually uncover a word um, with this kind of effect it's really cool and um, I'll show you quickly how I did that um, it's simple I have a go to the scene here so I have the background as the uh, the pink and then I have these um, elements here which make up the letters and I'll just go ahead really quickly and turn this pink to something else you can see so there they are there and um, they're actually um, pink also okay so the exact same color as the background so they blend in and what I've done is I go into the layers here and I have these actors on the top layer and their blending mode is set to multiply and then what I do is I have this actor which is here and I have him not set to multiply it's set to normal so that way when he's over top of this um, this uh, background color it doesn't do any of the effect uh, but because these actors have multiply when this actor is underneath the layer or underneath these actors it's actually the top pink that are multiplying so you can uncover hidden secrets um, or something cool like that so that's just a couple things you can do with um, multiply and blending modes and I thought uh, I'll throw it a challenge there and see you know what uh, someone else can do with uh, this effect uh, maybe you'll have a great idea to share with everybody else so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video cool little effect nothing too special but uh, can't wait to see what you guys come up with